So today I've got a really interesting video for you and I want to discuss the concept of organic experience versus artificial experience. So I'm not talking about robots taking over the world here, we'll save that for another video. But what I am talking about here are the experiences that a man would get from everyday life as opposed to what he would get if he was working with a coach. So you can kind of see here my empty diagram at the moment, but I am going to be talking about the pros and cons for both of these. So I'm not going to be biased and say that one is better than the other. I do believe every guy should work with a coach to develop the skills that they're lacking, but you do have to have also normal experiences for them to work appropriately. So you have to find this equilibrium of applying both of these to your life. And hopefully by the end of this video, when you do see the full list of all of my points, you can decide how best to do that. So let's start with the organic experiences. So first of all, you experience lessons throughout your life constantly. You develop natural and authentic skill sets. You shape your identity and your personality. And of course, it's free. So every moment of your life you have whether it been good or bad you have had some kind of takeaway from it you have learned something from it and all of those memories that you have collected have then helped to not only shape who your identity and personality is today but you've then also been able to behave and interact with certain experiences whenever new experiences have arisen. Now, for a lot of guys who are certainly very confident and have no problem with dating, there's always been the scenario of that they've just had a very good social upbringing and they have learned a lot of skills very early on in life as opposed to much later on in life. And they have become desensitized and used to a lot of more social environments and become very comfortable in it as opposed to people who have had to go to a coach to work on those particular issues and overcome their anxieties that way. So it will always be really good if you can be in experiences very naturally that help to overcome a lot of these anxieties and concerns early on in life as opposed to later, which is why for a lot of people, you know, when they've gone to school, gone to work, uh, gone to uni and even like the social circles and friendships and relationships that they've formed throughout their lives have all been things that they've been able to apply to future experiences that they have had as well. But what about the cons for this? So first of all, with organic experiences, there's little to no support system in place. If things go wrong, a lot of men find it very difficult to turn to other men for help. And so they'll keep it to themselves. They won't tell other people and then they tend to suffer in silence, which can certainly then lead to my next point of creating limiting beliefs and negative memories. If men have been bullied when they were younger, if they were abused, if they were people who didn't have friends or they just suffered a lot of rejection and maybe they were then publicly embarrassed because of speaking their mind or putting themselves out there, they can develop the limiting beliefs about themselves that maybe they just aren't good enough. Maybe that's just how the world is. Maybe they shouldn't interact with people. And so that starts to become this reality for them that they just choose not to break out of. Um, and, uh, they can also tend to have more negative experiences than good. So I mentioned it before, but you, unfortunately you do get many men in the world. Many have had really great experiences, but also there have been a lot of men who have the exact same experiences and they have gone horribly wrong. And sadly for whatever kind of background a guy's had, he has just been dealt uh, a really bad hand and has unfortunately not had the greatest of experiences. And if he stays in that reality, then it is very difficult for him to break out of that unless he does seek working with a coach to change his belief system or change 
the knowledge that he has and change it to something that actually will be more beneficial. So what we're looking for here is removing the negative experiences and replacing that with more positive reinforcement. And lastly, that they can learn incorrectly learn and to develop bad habits and mannerisms. So unfortunately, yeah, if you are in this reality where things just aren't going well for you, then you might end up developing this like the world versus me mentality where you will always be the victim and you believe it's always everyone else's fault and not your own with doing stuff. And this negative experience that gets created can lead to men not taking accountability for their actions or even just taking responsibility for their lives. And they would rather be the victim and um, hate the world rather than doing something about it and making more positive changes. But let's now look on a more positive front. Let's have a look at then the artificial experiences. So first of all, you've got create supportive and controlled environments for learning. So if there are guys who have missed out on socializing or talking to women, or they just didn't have an upbringing that allowed them to develop social skills, then a coach can put them in certain environments that forces them to talk to people, but also the coach is there to give them the support that they need and moral support at that to handle every single circumstance that comes up. And it could even be helping them with like things to say or just how to behave. But having this support system in place certainly can make all the difference in the world. There are men that need to have essentially their hand held to help them through issues or traumas that they've got or just where they are lacking experience in something and they need someone to work with them one-on-one -on -one to just overcome that, that trauma or that anxiety and turn that situation into a comfort zone. So like cold approaching, talking to people in maybe a museum or at a networking event, if a guy is really shy and anxious about doing that, then he needs someone there with him to be like, okay, well, this is what you can say to that person. This is how I want your body language to be. And that support might be what they need to overcome it. Uh, so that also, I've kind of answered the question here or statement, but it also then fills in the learning gaps that weren't learned there organically. So unfortunately for the men who just haven't had the best experiences growing up, they, if they believe that they are stuck in a certain way and they want to change it, then they have to learn a new way of thinking or they are going to be put in environments that are going to be experiences that they've never had before. And that will replace those old experiences. The skill sets and beliefs can be re-examined and improved. So if someone's got bad communication skills, then you can get feedback on it and it can be changed and adapted to be much better. And then you can also see better results from that too. And this can also be introduced at any age. So kind of like with the organic experience, you can learn it or you are constantly learning throughout your life. But with the artificial experience, the moment you realize that you need help with something, you can do something about it. It's never a case that it's out of reach. You can pick up a phone, you can send an email, contact someone who can give you the coaching that you need to work on that specific thing you're struggling with. But what about the cons with going to a coach and getting just that artificial experience instead of much more natural ones? So guys, first of all, can get a little lost in the theory. So they can be, there's too much theory that can be detrimental to a man's mental health. If you overdo it, learning theory and trying to develop this level of perfectionism, I have seen it backfire on men where then they actually struggle with their social skills and they become more anxious than ever as they overthink how to talk to people, how to communicate and interact. Um, organic experiences are still necessary to solidify the content. So although you might be learning something from a coach, you still have to put yourself into very natural environments to make sure that the stuff that you've learned sticks. 
And if you don't practice, and I have seen where guys have gone to coaches and then they don't do anything about it afterwards, they lose that skill that they've learned. And you need to learn to constantly be practicing and talking to people if you want to incorporate those new skills into your life and also turn that content into something that's a lot more natural so you aren't sounding like the coach that you've learned from. Um, and this is what I've spoken about for my next point with that it can overwrite also natural behaviors. If you were also, if you were someone who had a very natural way of talking to people, if you're constantly learning from coaches, it can overwrite your way of doing things that were perfectly fine before. So I've seen guys who have followed coaches online and they were just naturals, we'll call them naturals from the start. And unfortunately, they lost that ability and they started sounding like a clone of a coach all because they just kept watching videos and videos and videos and even going to that coach for help when they really didn't need it in the first place. They probably needed just a bit of feedback here and there and they would have been absolutely fine. And instead, their personality or identity has been stripped from them all because they tried to learn too much of another way of doing things. And lastly, that... Uh, they develop unnecessary addictions to self-improvement. So this is something that I have seen a lot as well, where people get a little too addicted to constantly trying to fix themselves, that they see it as that they just there's just a problem with them and that they have to keep improving. And they're never really happy or satisfied with themselves. They never believe that they're good enough. So you can kind of go too far with the theory side of things here. And you can, and I have again seen it, where people have been addicted to constantly learning and going to a coach. And the thing is, is that a coach won't necessarily say no, they're not going to turn down the money, but they're also... Um, they also really should end up saying to a guy like, no, you are absolutely fine. But but they won't say that. And guys also won't recognize that they are at a perfectly good level. They just need to get on and do it themselves. They don't need to have their hand held. They don't need to learn anything new. They need to go out and get more natural, organic experiences. So at least everything that they have learned can be applied to that and they can be a more authentic version of themselves and be more confident. So I hope these two areas make sense. Uh, organic is just something that you've got to learn very naturally in life, all the life skills and stuff. And artificial is the things that you would go to a coach for to help you to learn things that you're missing from organic that then you can go back and apply to the organic. I do hope that you apply these as equally as possible to your life. Don't just be reliant on a coach, but also don't just be reliant on life to solve all of your problems. If you are someone who is struggling to be held accountable and you need someone to help you with taking action, um, making sure that you are responsible for everything or changes that you want to make in your life, I'm a life coach and an integral eye movement therapist and I help to hold people accountable as well as also remove negative memories, traumas and limiting beliefs that they've got that allows them then to move forward in their life in exactly these ways that I have mentioned here in this video. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this and also if you've got any pros and cons for each of these as well, because every man that I know, even myself included in this, has had very different experiences to every other man. So there might be some experiences here that you can certainly um, contribute to this that's going to help other people as well. So I'd love to hear what your pros and cons are um, and thoughts on this video. But other than that, I'd love it if you can like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date on all things that's going to help you with your anxiety. But if anything, look forward to another video that I'm going to put out tomorrow.